Okay, so making a tutorial about how to get your tractor program working as an instrument in Ableton Live. So to start out, I'm just going to bring in an in external instrument <clears throat> from the side here. Just drop it in. And to send the MIDI to tractor, I have my IAC driver that Apple's give you renamed as my tractor MIDI bus. So I just have two ports, input and output, with uh, one cable on there each. <clears throat> if you can't figure that out, there's lots of tutorials around to figure out how to do that. So once you got that set up, you also want to have your aggregate device set up. It um, doesn't really matter what you have in here as long as you have your sound flower um, and your interface that you're using also just all hooked together. My Firewire solo is my interface. I also use my built-in output for queuing, so that's why I have these all in here. And Soundflower is the one that's going to send your audio between the programs. So our MIDI is coming from our APC4064 40 script that we have selected in our control services. Now it picks up the MIDI on channel 11, so just going to send that to channel 1. Take the <clears throat> audio back from 7 or 8, which you can see in the audio MIDI setup is found out by counting down just straight count down your outputs one two three four five six and then seven eight nine ten on and on are going to be there on soundflower so this is for deck a make another one coming through for deck b i'll turn off the midi output just so i'm not you know um sending double signals and whatnot Take my output from 9 and 10, which is the second deck, and move over here into Tractor. Into Preferences, I got External Mixing Mode selected. My audio is also selected as Aggregate Device. My routing, I have um, on here, Tractor calls the first one output 0, so you're going to need to adjust it. In Ableton, it's 7 and 8. On here, it's going to be 6 and 7 and 8 and 9. So just be aware of that. And for just some MIDI control, just map out some basic functionality. Just add in, transport, play, pause. Comes up right here. Learn it <coughs> to any midi note that you want and make sure the type of controller is set to button interaction mode toggle assignment deck a and then deck b just change the assignment relearn a new note after you've duplicated it and you're all set doesn't matter which notes you pick for that as long as they're up on this grid that can send MIDI notes in the Hans script. Go into, you know, you press the shift four and that brings you to your MIDI controls. So, pressing start. Start again, presses it off, deck two.
And there you have it. Anything else you want to map? Just got to get back into this controller manager. And you should have access to any of the MIDI notes coming up on your grid for the drum pads and all that. So, all right. <clears throat> That's just about it. Thanks.